Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine E-Bike. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe below. And again, thanks so much for watching our, our videos. Today we're going to look inside your controller. Think of your controller as an onboard computer that controls all aspects of your e-bike. Inside the controller is a circuit board that through sensors and firmware manages voltage and ampage input and output and controls all of the critical functions of your e-bike. The first thing your controller looks for is its power source. That comes from your battery. It calculates your battery's voltage and amps and, if compatible, distributes that power to the controller's various functions, such as the motor. It determines what are the power requirements for the motor and determines at what intervals to distribute that power. It takes input from the throttle to determine how much power output needs to be generated. Twisting the throttle varies the strength and polarity of the magnetic field adjacent to the sensor which sends a corresponding voltage of between 0.8 volts and 4.5 volts to be sent to the controller. It also reads information from the brakes. When the brakes are applied, a sensor cuts the motor, reducing your forward momentum for a smoother stop. The controller also controls additional functions such as pedal assist, cruise control, lights, the onboard LCD, maximum speed, wheel size, minimum and maximum ampage, voltage cutoff, and much, much more. Some controllers are built into the frame of the bike, some controllers are controlled by iPhones, and some controllers are external and controlled by wired LCD inputs. Whatever kind of controller you have, the functions give or take a few bells and whistles control the most important functions of your e-bike. I hope this video was helpful, and if you liked it, click subscribe down below.